Hi guys, my name is John and I am a Chicago-based personal shopper and collector and lover of luxury, um, both vintage as well as current. Um, I am also a lover of luxury and I'm a lover of YouTube and I've been a fan of both for a very long time. So this is the next installment in my personal Chanel collection and honestly probably the one um, that concerns me the most. I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, so this is my shoe collection. So everything that I'm showing you is um, just from Chanel. These are shoes that I wear every day. They are my shoes. So just like a quick editorial note, if you will. These are shoes. I wear them. Um, with the exception of one pair that's very special to me, um, I wear them. I use them. They get a little scuffed up, they get a little messed up. Luckily, I have an amazing cobbler that I work with, and um, some of them need to go there like uh, three years ago. So, <laughs> um, with boot season coming quickly, you'll particularly see that my boots look kind of rough. So, hopefully, if I get my act together, I will uh, take those down the next couple days so they can be ready to go. Um, quick thing I wanted to show you first before we delve into the actual insanity is how I store my shoes. So, um, boots I just leave in a particular part of my shared closet with my fiance and they're all on dust bags and then they're just out. Um, if there's a shoe though that can actually fit inside of something, I do not keep them in the original boxes. The reason that I don't do that besides the fact that it takes up space, um, is that there's actually acid in the glue that has that the original like box has to stay together and after a while if things aren't stored in the correct condition it can actually kind of start to affect your shoes you'll see a patina in leather maybe something's like weirdly sticky for no reason so to combat that what i did is i went to the container store and uh these guys are all like a particular bpa free plastic they always have these on sale so they're always good to get and um, they're clear and then I store the dust bags and then the tissue paper that the shoe came with inside so that way I can try to kind of mold the shape and keep it as much as possible. Um, yeah, a while ago I was definitely collecting my boxes and had them on the floor in our closet and uh, took them all out one day and said, I have a problem and I probably should make these go away. And I created like the leaning tower of black boxes and it was a nightmare. So we're not doing that anymore. We got our act together and this is how we like to live our life. Um, so quick note about this video. Um, I'll show you here in a second the actual level of insanity. Um, so I'm going to be bobbing and weaving and getting out and apparently um, having a session with a personal trainer while I'm getting all my shoes out to show you. So forgive me if I'm like out and I'm in and I'm out and I'm in. Um, I'm very project runaway in this video, and that was runway before I tripped over it, so there we go, killing my own joke. Oh well. Um, okay, so let me show you what I got. Um, I'll show you the insanity first. Oh my god. Like, literally, why do I think that I want even more shoes? Okay. So, this is a quick... The insanity that there is. Whoops. Here we go. Okay, first pair I'm going to start with are from last year. They're from the By the Sea collection. These are the OG Chanel Birkenstocks, if you will. Um, I got these last year. Went to like seven different stores. It was in New York. I was looking everywhere for them. And um, ironically, one day stopped in at the boutique Ikram. And my sales associate said he had a pair of shoes he would like for me to see. And here they were, and they were in my size. So sizing for me, um, I totally forgot about that. Usually I'm anywhere from a 41 to nine times out of 10 or 42. It just depends on how long Chanel cuts the last for the shoe. But I'd say 9.99 times out of 10, I'm a 42, which equivalents to like a women's um, 11 because I'm like a men's nine. So I can still kind of cram my feet in there. Um, but yeah, these guys are from the By the Sea. I looked at Bergdorf. I looked at Saks. I looked at Boomies. I looked at both Chanel stores in Manhattan. Well, actually all three, including Soho, nobody had them. Walked five minutes down from work and boom, there they were. So they're here and I love them. I wear them all the time. So my next pair of shoes, which are also dusty and crazy, are, oh my God, falling out of my hand. And um, these are from the Cuba collection. So these are navy suede. Um, I wear these literally all the time. They have this super cute little pearl CC detail. They're in suede and then they're trimmed in grow grain. I love simple little smoking slippers like these. They instantly dress up any outfit. Even if you're just wearing like a t-shirt and jeans, which is nine times out of 10 what I'm wearing, um, you throw on a blazer, you put a pair of shoes like this on and boom, your whole outfit, 
outfit looks like amazing and it looks like you really pulled it together when truthfully all you did was like slide your foot in the shoe. Um, next pair, another pair of smoking slippers, trend alert from me. And um, these guys are a navy velvet. They're actually quilted like a handbag. They also have cat hair on them, which is like the story of my life. And um, these guys are from 2017. Um, they are navy velvet quilted trimmed in grow grain with a black patent cap toe and a little CC there. Um, other way to, I just thought about this, the way that I organize my shoes are by style and then by color. So that way in the morning when I go to get up, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm wearing. And these are my options for shoes based on the style. Do my feet hurt? Do I want something comfortable? Etc. Etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, So that's that. Next pair are also surprising, a loafer. And these are from last year. So they're from the 2019 collection. Um, and they are in actually correction 2020 and, um, they are in a nude leather. So nude for me is super hard to find because I'm so freaking pale. So usually the nudes are like a little too dark for me. So when I put it on, it just makes me look like Casper the ghost. So it was nice to actually find a pair where the color worked. Um, these are a super soft calfskin. As you can see, they've definitely molded to my feet. They're insanely comfortable and they have a super fun chain back and oh my god they need to get cleaned and go to the cobbler okay i told you guys i wear these um next pair is from 2017 and this is another slipper these guys are kind of like my dorothy shoes if you will um they have a super tiny little cc right here in the middle smoking slipper style super easy super comfy um i got these at neiman marcus which the other pair was from neiman's as well too and the cool thing with these is they have what's called a fishtail sequin. So the sequins are actually reversible. So there's a more matte side on one, and then there is the shiny on the other. Um, sequin payette, either is right. Um, and the cool thing about these is, again, like I said earlier with any smoking slipper, these instantly take up your whole outfit. These were also available in a rose gold. I'm more of a silver person than I am a rose gold person. I am slightly kicking myself that I didn't get them. Um, because they are so comfortable and I have gotten so much wear out of them as you can see in my bottom. Um, but yeah, I love these. They're so fun. I do them casually. I do them, you know, dressy. So they've gone to the opera and they've also just like gone to the grocery store. Um, next pair is another smoking slipper flat style, if you will. These are very special because I bought these the weekend that I got engaged. Um, these are also from Neiman Marcus here in Chicago. They have this really beautiful tweed and they have a really cool, let's see if it'll focus, hello, um, really cool CC. So there's miniature pearls in there and then um, black. So they match the rest of the shoe. Um, these are done in a tweed. The biggest thing I can tell you is to be careful with tweed shoes. Reason I say that is because tweed is a fabric. Um, so the second that I got these, they kind of started lifting a little bit, like where your foot would naturally bend. And um, one day when I was at work, I wasn't paying attention and apparently brushed up against something. So again, these are fabric. You have to be super careful and super on top of it, um, which <laughs> clearly I haven't done a great job of, but I still love them nonetheless. And I think now that they're a little bit more like messed up, if you will, or like worn in, I'm less concerned about keeping them perfect. But um, yeah, jeans, t-shirt, these are done. Black Chanel jacket, I'm off the door. Um, next pair is also a very important pair to me, and that's because this is my first pair of Chanel shoes. Um, these are from the Paris Bombay collection, which was like 2015. Um, I got these at Luxury Garage Sale, so I actually didn't buy these at a boutique or um, at a department store. Um, I'd never really thought about buying Chanel shoes. I'd had a couple pieces of ready to wear that's really where i started um in addition to like slgs that kind of thing and this was the first pair of shoes that started me on my very debilitating slash exciting journey um they have a super cool cc that's cut out in metal i've worn these everywhere i've done so much with these there was a period in time where i didn't have the right cobbler and one cobbler told me there was no hope in bringing them back and boom baby we back so i'm so happy about these and i just remember putting them on and literally going oh god this is going to cause a problem because their shoes actually fit me and here we are um next pair of shoes 
is the twin sister to the navy velvet pair that I showed you previously. So this was actually the first pair that I got. Um, I got these at Neiman's, got these full price, and um, tried them on, loved them, loved the quilting pattern, loved the CC cap toe. Again, got to send her off. And um, fell in love with them. It took a while to break them in, and once I did, they were super comfortable. And I knew they came in navy, and it was something I was thinking about, and then sale rolled around. So I was texting with my essay, because even though I am an essay, I have an essay. And um, she ended up finding me the navy on sale, so I got those. Um, so one thing I would say about buying shoes in multiple colors, I'm from the South, I'm old school, that's how we like to do it. But the first thing I would say is buy one color and buy ones you're going to wear a lot because then you'll be able to see how the shoe wears. Does it take a long time to break in? Is it comfortable? What are you wearing it with? And then as soon as that's kind of all figured out for you, you've A, taken more time to like figure out like, oh God, these are great. I'd love them. I'd love them in blue and brr, 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 whatever. But if you buy them in one color and you're like, oh my God, my feet are falling off and I hate them. And then you magically have three other pairs of them probably not the best idea. So I would say get them, live with them for a week, wear them, see how they feel, maybe a week or two, just because again, Chanel moves so quickly that um, then you can make the decision like, boom, gotta go, gotta get them. But these guys I love, I'll have them forever. Um, next pair of shoes that I have, which are the second to last pair, kind of in that smoking slipper category, um, are from the resort collection this year. These guys are done in suede. They have a grow grain cap toe with a slightly squared off toe, which is super cool. And then the Diamante detail. The really cool thing with these guys is that they're actually the shooting star is based on Chanel fine jewelry. So there's not a single CC on these guys anywhere. Okay. I was just making sure I was right. Um, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. I saw Carolyn de Marguerite wearing them in an ad look and walked into Neiman Marcus one day and they had my size. So I tried them on, fell in love, and had to have them. Um, the other really cool thing with these guys too, besides from when we need to get cleaned, is that the grow grain is also continued right around the heel too. So these are a really beautiful, special pair of shoes, but again, I'll wear them with jeans, I'll wear them with a t-shirt. Just because it's a special shoe doesn't mean you need to reserve it for a special occasion. And right now we have so many special pieces in our closet, particularly those of us that are like addicted to luxury, that I don't really deem any kind of particular thing coming up that's like actually going to happen that I would like justify holding off on something. Because these are an amazing way to literally elevate any look and elevate it for the grocery store, elevate it for the post office, shopping, going to dinner, whatever. But this is my pair from Resort This Season. Next pair of shoes, and these are probably, I would actually say these are, the only pair of shoes that I regret owning just because they hurt so bad are these guys. These are from the Space Collection. So they're in a patent leather and they have that kind of tuxedo shoe style, which is why I was interested in them. Um, in 2017, 2018, and 2019, my fiance and I went to a lot of weddings. So it was kind of one of those things I saw these and I said, oh, this will be a good idea. I need like a dressy shoe for when we go to like a black tie or black tie optional wedding. Um, the thing with patent is because it's leather and then there's lots of shellac, that means there's a lot of extra layers that your feet have to kind of go through to break them in, if that makes sense. So these have taken an incredibly long time to break in. I still don't know if they're broken in. Um, this is probably the one pair of Chanel shoes that I look at in my class and I'm like, Ugh. but because I'm a double Scorpio, like I'm determined to make it work. So stay tuned. Um, and the other really cool thing is the CC on these guys. So it, they are a so black and then they have that slight little trim there. Again, barely worn because they hurt. Um, next pair of shoes moving in to the lace up category, um, are these guys. These guys are from the Cuba collection. Um, uh, this is actually my second pair of these that I've gotten. The first pair I got got them the second they came out, loved them. They're so comfortable. These are still really comfortable. And um, I wore them so much that literally the fabric started to tear. So um, we had to say goodbye. And I also wore those like one time stupidly when I was in New York for work and it was snowing. 
that was before I was really thinking like these are resort hold on to them for resort like conditions I think I was just so excited to wear them that it was like boom let's go um the website when Chanel originally when I bought these said that they were black and white but the grow grain trim definitely says that I mean they're navy um this bottom I love these guys I need love them so much I need to send them off to the cobbler so he can do some magic and bring them back to life for me um these also came in a red and black and some other and a gold as well too gold and black if these are out there on the secondhand market and they have them in your size buy them um these are from neiman's the first pair was from neiman's and then the black patent ones that i just showed you were also from neiman marcus um next pair of shoes these i want to say are from like 2016 ish um the thing with these is i actually bought these secondhand i got these on ebay this is a patent leather, but much softer than the other ones, lace-up shoe. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting, but they're in an aubergine, and they have matching aubergine laces, and then they have a black cap toe. And then they have a slight heel on the back, and then they have the really cool CC pearl detail that goes all the way around both sides. That's trimmed in gold. Um, these I bought on eBay. I know my Chanel size. I know nine times out of 10, I'm going to be a 42. So I saw these online, um, bought them for like next to nothing, had them shipped here, didn't even, uh, tried them on to make sure they were comfortable, sent them straight to the cobbler and said, do what you can, please fix them. So we did. And um, I think I paid like $125 or something stupid like that for these. So that's a fun tip. If you know what size you normally wear in Chanel, go for it. They are very little times i would say except in the last like two seasons and uh, two years ish they've been cutting things a little bit longer but that's mostly going to be with sneakers and it's going to be with sandals because if they make those larger more people can fit in them they can sell more they can make more money blah 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 but that is the pearl pair and now we're going to take a very exciting journey to the other side of my closet because i have a whole other table full of stuff to show you um, next pair, these are from the Paris Homburg collection. These guys are a two-tone in nude, um, bought these at Neiman's and it's actually a calfskin and then it's patent. So here's the thing that I'm going to say about these. I bought these cause I wanted a nude, a nude shoe way before I got the loafer. Didn't realize how fragile the calfskin was. So this started happening. This is rub off from them going together. So I started using a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser because I'm a crazy person and um, also got some scuffs going on there too. So um, this is another pair that needs to go visit my cobbler and um, see if there's anything they can do. The nice thing about calfskin, it's super light, it's super comfortable, it molds really quickly. The problem with it being a super light leather is it's super light, so you have to be super careful. Um, but yeah, these guys are in patent and then they have calf skin. I like the little detailing of the edging on the top, and then they have a little gold CC on the back from Hamburg. Next pair of shoes, these are from, I wanna say 2017. This is the, this is the first transparent collection, so pre the waterfall collection, one before. Um, Lace-up style spectator shoes are one of my favorite styles. And the coolest thing about these guys is that this is actually like cardboard paper and um, then there's tweed and the tweed is encapsulated in plastic and then they have a white patent cap toe. These definitely took the cake initially for my most uncomfortable shoes until the black patent space death shoes came around. But um, once these broke in, they're super comfortable. I just love them. The, they're just, I mean, they are me in a shoe. Um, and those were purchased at Neiman Marcus. Next pair of shoes is my favorite style from Chanel of all time. I always love the two-tone shoe. I think it's super classic. Um, I'm not gonna run around in a Coco Sling or a Coco Halter just because it doesn't look right on my foot. And it's not necessarily my aesthetic. Doesn't mean if there's another man out there who wants to do it, I'm gonna stop him. And I'm sure there are some people who pull them off. I just, I'm not one of them. So one of my favorite styles is a lace-up. Um, these were also from the Paris Homburg collection. And um, this is actually the second color of these that I own. These were purchased at the Chanel Boutique in Chicago. And they are in a gray wool and then feature black uh, calfskin. And little CC is there on the bottom. 
These are so comfortable because the gusseting is all done in elastic. So they're essentially a pull-on shoe. Um, I remember, which I think the next ones I'm showing you are them, they are. When I got them in black, it was like, I was wearing them like four or five days a week. So one day I went to um, the Chanel boutique with a client and very good friend of mine. And she bought a pair of shoes, and then I saw these in gray, and I was like, hi, are they out there? And they said yes, and I was ironically wearing the shoes, and just had them shipped straight to me, because I knew they were going to work. So this is the gray wool pair, and I know Chanel has done a couple other versions of them too. There's a pair from the Egypt collection, where the body of the shoe was in the black and gold tweed, and I've heard there are more of them coming, so be prepared um, to see more from my closet. This is, I would probably label these one of, if not my favorite pair of shoes. These are also from the Hamburg collection. These are in goat skin, so they're, um, they have like a sheen to them, but they're super light and super comfortable. Again, I could not stop wearing these to the point where I was scared I was almost going to run them into the ground. This was the first pair of shoes that I took to my new cobbler and was like, if you can fix them, you'll have me forever. And he did, and here we are. So these guys, again, all leather, short of the elastic there on the gusting, and then the gold CC is on the bottom. Um, and all the shoes that I've shown you recently, by the way, are 42, with the exception of the Hamburg ones. The um, two-tone, nude and black, those are 41 and a half. Next pair of shoes that I bought, these are actually vintage. These are from, I believe, 1997. And this is another kind of brogy spectatory style. These are in black patent and then trimmed in black suede. Um, I bought these online. These were on eBay purchase just because, again, I knew my size, knew what I'd need to do. So I bought them. The suede is insanely comfortable. The patent isn't overwhelming. It's not the whole shoe. So again, took like two seconds and they were broken in. The thing I love about these is all of this kind of like lattice detail work. And then um, they have the little CC on the cap toe, which is so cool. Um, but these... I love them. I'm glad I got them. Can't stop wearing them. Um, so that was it for the lace-up section. So now we're moving on to sneakers. Um, first pair of sneakers I'm going to show you are from the supermarket collection. This is the Rainbow Multi-Tweed. I love these. I love these. I love these. I have to send them to the cobbler so they can bring them back to life and I'll have them forever. These are in a uh, multicolor boucle, which was actually made from old Chanel jackets, which is super cool, and um, features gold and silver leather, and then multicolor. I won't show you the bottom because it's literally embarrassing, and then um, <laughs> the CCs on the back fell off. Oh my god, you just saw the bottom. It's embarrassing. I need to, um, yeah, have those six, but I love them, and they're so comfortable. Um, next pair is another pair of sneakers. These are from the Space Collection. These are in a metallic cracked calfskin, and they're trimmed in navy. Blue is my favorite color. Silver is my favorite metal. Had to get them. Love the clear bottom. I actually think these are a 41. They are, which is weird. So one of those like weird anomalies in my collection, but I love them. I love them. They're so fun. Literally just like a uh, basic black blazer, a white shirt, pair of dark rinse denim, and these, your outfits together. And your comfortable to you walk all day. Next pair are the most recent ones that we unboxed together here on my channel. This is, these are the gray leather babies. I love them. Um, these were purchased at the Chanel Boutique here in Chicago. Previous pair was purchased at Neiman Marcus, by the way. Um, and these guys are from this year. I love them. They're great. The Chanel laces are super fun. I love little CC on the tongue. And they actually also ship them with a pair of plain laces, too. So if you want to be a little bit more low-key, you can. Um, next pair of sneakers, also from the grocery store collection. This is the um, black, silver, and white tweed with the gold trim and the silver. Again, I got one CC left on them. But um, I will send these guys off. And the, su the super cool part, I don't know if the camera's going to pick them up or not, but it does have a slight um, kind of like iridescent um fabric in the tweed so it's they're just a really cool set um i love these they're great um my next ones and those are purchased at neiman marcus um next pair is a pair of the moon cookie shoes as i call them I call them moon cookie shoes because i bought these in new york famous for that um these are purchased at bloomingdale's in new york 
super cool because they are in a black fantasy tweed, if if you will. And then they are trimmed in leather and other spots. And then I love that it's um, one side of the laces is black and the other is white. So they're just super cool. And then they have calf, a uh, calfskin black CC cap toe. Wow, that was a lot. Couldn't say that three times in a row. Um, and that is it for my sneaker connection, collection. So next, moving on to espadrilles. Um, these guys are also from Bloomingdale's in New York. Want to say I purchased these in 2016 ish um, from Bloomies in New York. They are in a multicolor linen and need to be cleaned. <laughs> I just wore them this weekend, so that explains why they're dirty. So it's a tricolor, which is super cool. Um, so it's, uh, sorry, I'm like realizing I'm not laughing at my own jokes. So I'm like, must not be that good. Um, next one, so it's got three colors of linen, God help me. And um, you've got a darker beige here, then you have a, more of an off white, and then it's trimmed in black. And then the thing I also love, too, are the little pearls around the lace holes. I think it's so cool. Um, they have the really cool, intricate detailing on the bottom, and then they have a CC on the bottom. Um, those, yep, Blue News New York. Next pair are a pair of double stack espadrilles. Um, black lambskin, classic espadrille. Love these. thing I love even more is they have an actual sole on the bottom. Um, my first pair of espadrilles I ever bought were from Barney's in New York, just purely because Barney's was the only one that had the color combo and my size that I was looking for because I got them a 42. So um, the first pair I bought were classic, the single stack sole and uh, navy with a black cap toe. Loved them, loved them, loved them. They saved my life. Um, one day, just because I will tell that story here in a bit when we get to that shoe, I also bought a different pair of shoes in New York at that same time. And... Um, these are just so stinking comfortable. Um, and they actually last. So my issue with my navy ones was that because I didn't have all this extra sole on the bottom, once these finally gave in and started moving with my foot, instead of having me just kind of like clomp down the road, the sole cracked and the raffia cracked too. So um, my cobbler just looked at me and was like, say goodbye, hold a funeral, move on. So I did and ran into these guys. These were purchased from um, Chanel in New York at the 57th Street store with my sales associate there. Um, next category I'm going to move into are mules. I have two pairs of mules. This is my first pair of mules that I bought um, right when Chanel released them. Yes, they need to go to the cobbler because I can't stop wearing them. Um, and these guys are in a black calf skin with a little gold CC. And then they have the chain trim around the toe with a patent cap toe. Um, these were purchased from Neiman Marcus in Chicago. I love them. I used to be able to wear mules in my at my other job, and I can't at the one that I work at right now. Um, so I think that's kind of why I've been holding off on getting them fixed. Um, but I, I love these. I mean, you can tell I have really loved these. Um, but they also came in a silver when they came out too. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get the silver because again, in addition, just because I don't really think I would have worn them that much, but the black, it's like, oh my God, literally goes with everything. Um, my last pair of mules that I have, these guys are from the, I think it was 2017, no, it was 2018, the Chanel in the Woods collection. Um, this is a mule, super cool kind of like hunting style, if you will, like that's kind of the vibe I get from them. So they're in a black uh, quilted leather and then they're trimmed in brown and then they have the big gold CC buckle on them. These took me a while to get used to wearing just because they have that like little 45, 50 millimeter heel on the back. But once they broke in, they're super comfortable. I need to also send these off um, just because some of the leather around the heel is peeling a little bit, but that should be an easy fix. But great shoe. Love this shoe. Great with jeans. Even great with like a wide leg pant. I've done them before with like a um, cropped wide leg pant. It looked really cool. Um, and it's a good color palette for fall. Next pair of shoes, we're going to move on to some boots. Um, these are Chuka boots. These were purchased at Neiman Marcus in Chicago on sale. They're in a really beautiful um, suede, kind of like a neutrally brown, if you will, a little kind of chestnutty, and they feature CCs on the inside. So I like that they're a little bit more low key for Chanel. Um, I got these a couple years ago, and as you can tell, I haven't been worn all that much compared to some of my other shoes. Um, but I did really start wearing these last year, um, just because I had a couple 
other pieces of ready to wear that they worked with a little bit more aesthetically and they're so comfortable um so whenever chanel does a style like this always get them they're so comfortable um so these i love and since fall is right around the corner we gonna be pulling them out again um next pair of shoes are the infamous cutout lace boots um these guys i purchased at neiman marcus these are also i believe from 2018 could be 2017 and it is a brogue style shoe on the bottom with a little cc cap toe and some really pretty intricate leather work and then they have the lace section on the side and the denim panel in the brown so i it took a while for these to break in but once i started like getting them broken in they're super comfortable um just because i was a ballet dancer for 14 years um i have super like thick calves so chanel boots are a little difficult for me but these guys zip which is really great um i love wearing i have a couple pairs of jeans that actually match this denim so i love wearing jeans cuffing them so you see my skin here and then zipping it closed here so it just it's like a really cool kind of fun trick for the eye and these also need to go off to the cobbler because i've had a bad habit of rocking back on my heels and look what happens when you rock on your heels so don't do it um but i know they can be fixed so the next pair of boots that i have are my most worn pair which is why they look tragic and that is my Chelsea boot. Um, this is the first pair of Chelsea boots I've ever owned. And I think actually the only pair of Chelsea boots that I currently own, or actually that I just own, period. Um, these guys I bought pre-loved. I bought them from eBay. They looked a lot nicer when I got them because I can't stop wearing them. Um, and I like that the CC is in the webbing. It's super low key. There's no weather, anything kind of giving them away. They are insanely comfortable and they have an actual sole on the bottom, which is so exciting. Um, so I wear these in the snow, I wear these in the rain, and I literally just can't stop wearing them. So these are a, this was, to say that I got my money's worth for these is like literally the understatement of the century. And I like the slight little cap toe there, so that way you kind of, you know, if you know Chanel, you know when you see them. But these I love, if I can have three more pairs of these in different colors, it would be on like Don for Don, let me tell you. Um, my next pair of shoes, um are my chanel combat boots which again i lovingly wear which is why they look like crap um so these guys um i bought the same time that i went to new york that i got the um chanel espadrilles my first pair so fun fact about these i this is when chanel had their old store on 57th the madison so i think it used to be like three floors or something it wasn't like seven floors like it is now and i went saw my shoe guy and um sale was going on and they were retiring this style of boot to bring in the new version, which of course now there's been like two other iterations of it because this is like the classic combat boot. And um, I saw these sitting there and they were on sale for 60% off. So like, how could I say no? And these are actually 41 and a half and they fit, which is great. Um, they feature so black hardware, which I love with the quilting detail. And um, there's a big old CC here on the tongue of the shoe um these are insanely comfortable although the first day that i got them i went back to my hotel room i was so excited to put them on i was waiting for my my fiance to meet me in new york so we could go to dinner and um i was so excited i just couldn't wait and i put these on without socks and walked like eight blocks in them strike number two and strike number three when i took them off i had a hole in the side of my leg so it wasn't even a blister. It was like three, two, one, goodbye. We're going straight to like basically look like someone drilled a hole in the side of your leg. So um, that wasn't smart. And luckily I bought the espadrilles and the espadrilles stopped literally right under the blister because we went to the met the next day and we were there for like eight and a half hours. And if I had not had those espadrilles, I swear to God, it would have been a mess. But these are my combat boots. I love them. Can't stop wearing them. We'll never give them up and need to take them to the cobbler so that way they can see that I love them just as much, you know that they love me just as much as I love them. We're just like, we're not doing good today, guys, when it comes to the jokes. Um, second to last pair of shoes I have to show you are kind of a novelty. I purchased these at Luxury Garage Sale in Chicago. I'm trying to make the foot pack going, which doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it. But it is my pair of Chanel rain boots. 
Um, I didn't get the ones with the camellia. It's not really my vibe. Um, but these I did see. They're in a quilted fabric pattern, obviously rubber because rain. And they have a cap toe with the CC there that you can see. And then on the bottom, they got the good old um, CCs on the heel. These guys I love. Um, I had a pair of Gucci riding rain boots that I also ironically bought from Luxury Garage Sale a couple years ago and loved them. I even wore them with jeans like going out because they looked a little bit more elevated. But one day I was wearing them and it was raining and the heel cracked and boom came the water. So it was time to say goodbye to those. So um, once I saw these and saw they were my size and tried them on and found out they're actually insanely comfortable, had them rain boots are off the list. Um, the last pair of shoes I'm going to show you, I'm actually just going to show you the box. And the reason I'm going to show you the box for these is because these are my wedding shoes. Um, so I'm getting married next year. I have my wedding suit, which is Chanel. And then I have my shoes, which are Chanel. So of course, the first thing I ended up finding were the shoes. So um, these I saw online, they did a uh, special order for me and um, I was the only one to get them in my size. So it was very exciting. One day soon, we'll show them to you, but they are, um, they're absolutely amazing. So with that, we are now at the end of my 33 shoe collection from Chanel. God, oh um, comment down below which ones are your favorites. Um, and also, if you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to subscribe. I always say that, um, if you subscribe, subscribe, it means I don't have a problem and that you don't have a problem either. So, um, yeah, please do that. That would be really reaffirming for me in this moment as I look at my closet and go, holy crap, I had to bring a freaking coffee table in from my formal living room. So that way I can find a way to show all these shoes to you. Anyways, I think I've rambled on enough for now. So um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. So that way you get notifications every time I post. I'm trying to be more regular about posting. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My uh, username will be down in the bottom. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate you. We only have like a little bit left in my Chanel collection. So, oh my God, I think it's going to be eight parts. God help us all. And uh, then we'll move on to other stuff. And also feel free to comment down below um, video ideas. I'd love to get ideas from you guys. I will be doing styling videos soon, I promise. I just kind of wanted to blitz through the collection in general so that way it was done before we kind of um, started working with what we got. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.